I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Footballer magazine. Today I'm joined by Adam Mashotta from the Tea Tree Gully Football Club in Division 1, and he's going to do our weekly roundup. So we'll just go through the results from the weekend. Ross Trevor had a good win over Paynham Northern Union by 7 goals. Port District got over Unley Mercedes Jets by 19 points. Prince Alfred College Old Collegians had a great win over Henley by 42 points. Salisbury North got over Goodwood Saints by 23 points. And Tea Tree Gully had a great win over Adelaide University by 10 goals. Obviously a pretty pleasing performance. Yeah, it was a much needed win for us. Uh, that puts us now in second, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we needed it. Yeah. What was the? How did you see the game play out? Obviously, you went down to them earlier in the year. What was the difference this time around? Yeah, well, when we went down there, I think we were just a little bit too cocky. Uh, when we were in the change rooms, we just expected we were going to win. And they came out and they handed it to us, and we just weren't up for the challenge. But up here, we were a lot more prepared. Um, we were a lot more together in the, in the change rooms, and, and we gave them the respect that they deserved. Who were some of your better performers in the victory? Well, we had probably Flinny in the black irons. Just, he's been fantastic since he came back. He had a bit of a, an ankle injury. And we have young Tommy Bilby. He's a under-18s from Nord. He's come out. Um, I think it's his sixth game. He's just been unbelievable, giving us a lot of drive. Obviously, you've got the standard midfielders and Alex and Joshy and, you know, everyone just played really well. You kicked away in the last quarter. What changed in the match that... Did you find an extra edge or do you think you just had the fitness to run over them or were you just playing better football late in the game? Yeah, well, uh, I think we're up by three goals at half time, and, you know, the boys were a bit, you know, heads down in the change rooms just because, you know, we were up but we knew we had so much more to give, which is always a good thing. Uh, and then, you know, the third quarter was a bit of the same, a bit of an arm wrestle. And then the fourth quarter, I just think we just, we did what we play and we put the foot to the throat and we just ran away with it. A bit of fitness, yeah. Uh, okay, we'll look forward to next week's games. If we can just get a tip on each game. Ross Trevor Old Collegians take on Adelaide University. Obviously got a good look at Adelaide Uni yesterday. Yeah, well, Adelaide Uni is always a big one. They're just, they're so left field, they can always come out. They've beaten, you know, Paynham twice this year and they've beaten us. And Ross Trevor has always, always been good, always around the mark. I think they've got their 2013 Premiership side. So if they can rustle up a win, I reckon they'd probably take it out. So... Henley take on Goodwood Saints? Uh, you'd have to say Goody Saints. I mean, Henley haven't been travelling too well this year, but yeah, Goody Saints for sure. Port District versus Paynham Nord Union? Well, I mean, Paynham, I know they're strict with injuries, so, but uh, down there it's always a hard... Is it down there or...? Uh, it's at Port District. Yeah, I'd love to say Paynham. Paynham should take that out. They need it, so, yeah. yeah. Prince Alfred, Old Collegians take on only Mercedes Jets. Obviously, PAC have been in good form. Oh, well, they just come out of nowhere, didn't they? But uh, obviously, Paynham, uh, PAC and Unley were the ones that come up, and Unley haven't been travelling too well, and PAC did what you know, Paynham did last year and went straight to the top, so I can see PAC dominating that game, yeah. And you head home to take on Salisbury North this week. Obviously be hoping you get another win on the ball before finals. Yeah, well, it's the same thing. I think straight after the Adelaide Uni game, we went down there and just another lacklustre performance and, and it killed us. They, they rolled us down there. So uh, I think it'll be a massive arm wrestle, but we should, yeah, take it up. What do you think you need to change this time around to make sure you get the victory? I just think it was the same thing as the Adelaide Uni game. You know, we didn't really have the, have the good mindset. Uh, of respect for the teammates and we know how they play um, they're a lot f they're a physical team like we are um, so we just got to arm wrestle them to the end what do you think the keys are at this stage of the season obviously finals coming up what do you guys think you need to work on to make sure you're primed and ready for september well the, uh, last year we had at this time just terrible injuries like unforeseeable injuries you know alex and Alex went down with a broken jaw uh, the game before the finals and, you know, Josh Hand had a grade four hamstring tear. That's our two midfielders. They won the Saffle medal. Yeah. So um, I think it's just going to be a bit of injury management. Uh, we got a few dudes that are niggling injuries. Uh, we're doing really well on the track. You know, if it's a bit too wet, we'll, we'll do other things. We'll have some meetings. So I think we'll just keep it, keep it together and, and just, you know, manage it. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Adam. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I've been joined by Adam Marshotta from the Tea Tree Gully Football Club in Division 1 and he's done our weekly roundup.